à tous ou DDO, attention pour des comptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top, allumage moteur vulcain. Allumage confirmé. Top, allumage UAP, décollage. Lift off, c'est parti. Franchement, euh, à cause du plafond qui est très en bas, Henri, mais on l'entend pas. Ah oh oui, là, le, le, le son est vraiment. Euh, Vous l'entendez peut-être C'est important. Euh, on l'entend très, très fort. Oui, on a perdu le visuel. Yann 5 ECA. On a perdu le visuel, mais on peut l'entendre. Quel un thrust magnifique. Ces deux powders. C'est uh, uh, magnifique. Et le the, the, the ciel est vibrating. Yeah, even although the weather was not so good, we can really see the flames out of these EAPs and really a superb launch. And it's really climbing and going up very high in the sky, but we can still hear it very well whizzing past. I don't know if you can hear it uh, as we can. We were saying 540 tons of thrust each for the EAPs, two tons of powder consumed per second. That's 90% of the thrust which is given from the very beginning and these EAPs are going to be working a little bit more for a little bit more than two minutes so 240 tons of powder you can really hear them thundering across the sky so it's going to be the end of the work soon for these two EAPs which are going to be jettisoned from the main body of the rocket uh, because uh, everything that is dead weight, of course, is uh, useless, and that should be happening within the next few seconds. There we are. There are some uh, rockets, some distancing rockets there, eight distancing rockets that uh, make it possible to eject the two EAPs. So uh, the launcher is still around 50.5 meters. Uh, now the mass is, of course, much lower than it was at liftoff. Uh, we now only have 230 tons in flight. So what's the next step? The next step is going to be the crucial altitude of 100 kilometers when the fairing will be jettisoned. Yeah, because beyond these 100 uh, kilometers, there's no friction, no vibration, and uh, it's almost uh, interstellar void here, so no risk for the satellites. So the fairing can therefore be ejected at around 170 kilometers. And the fairing is 2.4 tons, although it's a beehive uh, composite material. Uh, so it's now lost 2.4 tons, and the launch vehicle is still racing through space. 